Honkai Star Rail is a game made by Hoyoverse, the same as Genshin. And today, we are here to explain what Honkai Star Rail did better than Genshin Impact. The first thing that come to mind is chest hunting. Don't get me started with this one. There are a lot of chests in Genshin Impact, and most of them contain 2 to 10 Prima Gems, sometimes, if I remember correctly. There are 60 coming from shrines or luxury chests. And because you want to get all these Prima Gems to satisfy your gacha addictions, you're going to farm them and spend most of your time doing this. And a hundred chests later, you have one pull. Say hello to your debate club. In Honkai Star Rail, every chest contains 5, 20, or 60, nothing lower. And every area contains 7 to 12 chests at the current patch, which makes it feel less of a chore. Of course, after you get 160, you still get the equivalent of a debate club, but still, it's way faster. Faster regret means faster recovery. Number two, you can choose the main stat that you want for artifacts, or in Star Rail, relics. You know how hellish it is to get the perfect artifact for your character in Genshin Impact, because sometimes the main stat is perfect, but the substats are shit or the other way around. This could take up to months of grinding just to get the perfect artifact for your character. I remember all the peaceful times in Genshin where everyone is just happy that they got their favorite five stars, that the story is great, and that the visuals are amazing. It's still here, but now we have added a new fetish which is seeing high numbers on the screen. Um, where was I? Oh, since you can choose your relic's main stat in Star Rail, it's only half as hellish because you'd have more chances to get the relic that you want for your characters, and your only problem is the substats. Though keep in mind that you can only get this after having a 100 scrap medals from Salvage 5 stars, so you can't do this every time. Number 3. The main character is actually usable. Yes, you heard that right. Honkai Star Rail's main character is highly ranked by the players in the community. Unlike Genshin Impact's main character, whom you would rarely see being used. Though you could arguably say that the MC in Genshin Impact is the strongest based in the Genshin storyline because he is fighting gods with his dull blade, a one-star weapon. In the actual game, he is useless, or there are better characters that could do his or her job. That's why the MC is rarely used, which I think affects the relatability of the story. Number four. I think that this is the most noticeable, but I'm still going to mention it anyway. It's the stamina. Do you know how frustrating it is in Genshin Impact to climb a mountain? Then, when you're near the top, you notice that you lack stamina, and now you need to do it all over again. Or what about when you're gliding and suddenly you have no more stamina and you're falling into a freaking ocean? Just me? What I'm pointing out is that it is freaking frustrating to have your stamina limit your movement in an open-world RPG. This could be fixed if they add a freaking mount. Please add mounts Genshin. And number five, players can receive a five-star on day one. Unlike in Genshin, where they gave us the discounted Noel banner, where you'll still have to rely on your luck to get a five-star, which would mean that most of the players aren't even going to touch a five-star until later on in the game, where it would be hard to re-roll in a new account. If you get a Chi-Chi as your pity pull, you'll just have to feed yourself with copium until you get that five-star that you really like. But still, it is very hard to get it as there are a lot of five-stars that you could get. In Honkai Star Rail, the same as the Noel banner, there is also a discounted wish at the start, but the difference is that you are guaranteed to get a 5-star at 50 pulls. And re-rolling isn't necessary because you could get the 5 stars that you want through the one-time 300 pull pity, where you can choose the character that you like. Subscribe because there's still a lot to come.